Hey friends on YouTube, I have not talked about the J.P. Miller situation in quite some time because basically there were threats going out about um, cease and desist orders and I didn't know, you know, if that's legit, if somebody can really issue an order to a YouTuber or a social media person. I've been told that there is freedom of speech and you're allowed to talk about things, discuss things, um on YouTube or else elsewhere so I kind of don't take it super seriously anymore like I was so I do want to update you on a few things that I do know about the case um, one thing I do know is that there was a question about JP Miller's tattoo of Micah's name some people were saying oh it's not a real tattoo or he really doesn't have a tattoo so he's been lifting up his shirt to show his tattoo to people saying here it is it's real i even put some cream on it you know when i got it done so it wouldn't hurt micah begged me to do it and i finally gave in did it okay i could care less about your tattoo that's the least of my concerns and then um, on JLR Investigates, he was asking people, do you think a 5150 is in order right now? Because JP was going on and basically saying, you guys are just crazy. You're taking pictures of me on the beach. My gut's hanging out. You didn't even warn me, so I couldn't suck it in. I'm an older guy now. You know, I'm not as young as I used to be, so it's kind of embarrassing. And JLR was saying, well, he's acting unhinged. He's acting crazy. Okay. I don't feel that that video made him look like he was acting crazy. The one where he's laying on the ground, like, whining and screeching, um, yes, that looked like he was definitely in some kind of an odd duress, maybe from drugs or something, I don't know, medicines, I'm not sure. That would make me say, yeah, 5150 for him, get him checked out, make sure he's okay, that sort of thing. But him saying, here's my tattoo, and why are y'all filming me on the beach? That doesn't make him look crazy to me. That makes him look vain, which narcissists look. They like image. They like to look good. They don't like it when you catch them with their pants down, so to speak. That they just, they don't like that. You're exposing the reality of them being human, and they don't appreciate that. Because narcissists think they're superheroes and super, superhuman. Hence the Spider-Man outfit that JP was wearing. Um, I don't think that he looked insane in that video, JLR, at all. I don't think a 5150 would be in order because he was saying, why'd you film me on the beach and I'm going to show you that I really do have a tattoo. What I do think is that he should have been arrested a long time ago for all of the allegations and proofs of all the abuses that he did to not only Micah, but his ex-wife and the other people in his life. That's when the um, cuffs should have been slapped on and arrests should have been made. And obviously there wasn't, because apparently Myrtle Beach police are different than police elsewhere. Um, I don't know if they turn a blind eye or if they just have to prove a whole lot before they arrest anybody. I think Micah still would be here had Myrtle Beach police done what they should have done a long time ago. Um, same thing with JP's father. It doesn't seem like any real um, consequences were enacted on all of the past crimes and evil things that they did. And basically the message they're given is, I can do what I want. I got money. I've got connections. The police know me and we're buddies and I can get away with it. So I will. That's basically the fact of the matter. Um, the fact that he was telling people, y'all, you know, you're filming me on the beach. Why don't you guys go get yourself somebody that loves you, someone to go on dates with, to movies with, and out to dinner and whatever he was saying. That's just a projection of what he did after Micah turned up gone. Was he just went out, found himself a new lady, and went out to dinner. It's just a projection. It's all narcissism, y'all. If you watch my channel at all, you recognize narcissism when you see it. If he's guilty of nothing else, even though we know he is, it's narcissistic personality disorder at its finest. And a lot of people online, you know, will say, well, I'm not qualified to diagnose. Okay, I'm technically qualified to diagnose. I'm not diagnosing. I'm saying based on behavior patterns, there's a whole lot of 
power posturing and projecting and um, I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff. Just the twisting of words and presenting somebody as himself as something he's not. All of that is narcissism. That's all you're seeing is a whole bunch of narcissism. Now as far as Micah being gone, rest in peace Micah and justice for you all day every day. Honestly girl. Um, that just needs to be looked into further and I don't know if it's going to be because apparently like I said certain places don't enact the type of crime control that other places do. And that's why evil people get away doing evil and continue to do it. Sometimes behind closed doors, sometimes right in your face. And you're seeing evil flaunted in your face right now, mocking us. Because he knows, nanny, nanny, nan, nan, I can do what I want and get away with it. I have so far what makes you think it's going to be any different. Because I'm buddy, buddy with the people that could do anything about it. Now, I just want to put myself into sort of JP's shoes. Not as I've done anything, anything close to what JP has done. But as somebody that is a social media person, we'll go back to when the floods happened here and I was accused of making the whole thing up. And the firemen pumped water in and made it look like I had flooding going on for views and for money. If you guys remember, at first I was like hurt, then I was angry, then I was kind of sarcastic. And I think when you've been beaten down long enough verbally and things are assumed about you that you're not really telling the truth when you know you're the type of person that would not lie if you had to, pretty much, unless your life was at stake or someone else's would be. Um, if you're, you know you're a good person and you're one of the good ones, and yet all these people are painting you to look like something you're not, then yeah, you get kind of like, okay, here you go, yeah, here's my tattoo, huh, you want to say anything about it now? You know, you do get like that. So to me, that didn't show anything about him being crazy or needing to be hauled off somewhere. That didn't. But the other stuff he did, definitely not hauled off into an insane asylum necessarily, other than the one where he's crying on the ground, that might warrant a 5150. But the other stuff warranted arrest and lock him up and throw away the key. Yes, but that hasn't been done. So clearly it's probably not going to be enacted or enforced. I don't know the statute of limitations. I don't know the exact years the things happened that he did. But the crimes he was guilty of. And I'm not saying alleged, okay? That's the other thing. I have a huge pet peeve with all these true crime channels reporting on this saying, well, did this allegedly or alleged this and alleged... You know it's fact. You showed the papers on your channel about he did this, this, and this, and this, and this was a crime, and he was guilty of... So why do you keep saying alleged? It's not alleged. It's fact. So how about we just call it like this is what happened, these are the facts, and this was what was done. Now, this is what was allegedly done. No, it's not alleged once it's in print and it's legal documents. And I don't even have legal documents, but I saw the ones you presented, and I saw the ones a lot of true crime channels presented, and they weren't alleged. They were on paper, stamped, signed, sealed, you know, approved, whatever. They were legal. So it's not alleged anymore, y'all. It's legit. It's real. Stop saying alleged. Please stop painting victimizers like they're not quite the victimizers. We're not sure. Now, I get it. You're not sure how Micah passed on. Nobody was there. Nobody knows. I get that. We're starting to get some forms of suspicion and theories and whatever. Nobody really can prove it except the people that were there unless they have proof. And I don't think they will because Micah was cremated conveniently. Um, on JP's part, I believe. Um, but yeah, the things that you know happen, like the things that were done in the past by people, are no longer alleged things. They are legit, real, actual things. So can we please throw out the word alleged? And while you're at it, throw out the word pastor. Because no pastor I have ever met that was legitimate 
did the kind of things that JP has done and gets away with the kind of things that JP continues to get away with and has for years. So throw out alleged and throw out pastor off the name. Um, I just, I can't with that and I won't. That's why I call him JP and not pastor. Um, I have a pastor and there is no way my pastor would ever do what JP did. He's not the kind. He is the kindest hearted person, a giving person, a sacrificial person, a very, very benevolent man who admits his flaws when he has flaws, but never flaws like that. Never. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I just wanted to update you on my feelings about the J.P. Miller situation. Um, and justice for Micah Francis as well. I'm not calling her Micah the other name because she actually was trying to get out of that situation. And I pray nobody else gets in the situation. But you know what? As long as evil continues to go unabated and unchecked, it's very possible that evil will continue. So those of you out there who are backing all of this stuff, um, the cops and the law enforcement, I say that loosely, enforcement agencies, as long as you keep letting people get away with this stuff in your state, in general, it's going to keep on happening and it's not going to go away. And the protesters, yes, they're legally within their rights to do what they're doing. The guy that squirted them with the hose or with not the hose, but the sprinklers. I don't know. It. I think it would be hard to prosecute on that. I know JLR was saying, well, is that a crime? You know, should he be arrested? Should he be fined? I don't know. I don't know if they could say, well, maybe he was just cooling off the protesters. I mean, who knows? That could be argued 50 ways to Sunday, honestly. I'm not sure if it would be considered a crime. Um, protesters are legally within their right to give their opinion and to shout whatever they want to shout and when they go in the church the people that go there they can close the doors they can't hear it pretty sure they probably have air conditioning so i'm sure their windows aren't open the protesters are going to be there as long as they're there they said they're not, they're going to be relentless and they're going to keep on protesting till a jp is arrested or somehow Micah's death is avenged and justice comes. I don't know what that looks like. Um, the guy that dressed up like Jesus as a protester, I don't know what that was all about. Um, when people are angry and they feel disillusioned and they feel cheated and they feel betrayed by their you know, agencies and the people that should protect people, they act in all kinds of ways. They do. That's just how it goes. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted to give my two cents for what it's worth on the Micah Francis case and the J.P. Miller situation. Um, I'm wondering, too, where J.P.'s 350, I think we're down to 348 things, proof things of why he thinks Micah's death was not her doing this to herself and that somebody else was involved i guess something he's trying to prove and it's going to blow everything out of the water and i don't know who knows tune on tune in as the saga continues that's all i can say um i'll report on it once in a while it's not going to be like my main focus i'm going to give my opinions on it i'm nobody i don't have that big of a channel i'm not really a threat to anybody i just post my kickboxing videos and some worship videos and cat videos so you know i am relatively as they say in innocuous i think is the word no threat to anyone anymore anyway i'm gonna go and drink my chia seed oatly chocolate milkshake because my eating window is about to close but i bid you all a very wonderful rest of your weekend and a blessed week and i'll see you soon or upload videos soon when i have any to upload Talk to you soon. Thanks for listening. Feel free to comment below and as always, like and subscribe if you will. Thanks. See you later.